Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 35, search insert position. So given a sorted array of distinct integers and a target value, we need to return the index of the target. And if the target is not found in my input array, then I need to return the index where the target would come in my input array. Now we will see the logic and the code for this problem. Now let's dive into the solution. So from the question we know, the input array is sorted and we need to write and log in time algorithm. So we are going to use binary search. So here I have my input array and the target value is 5. So I need to return the index of 5, right? So I'm going to have left and the right pointer and I'm going to have a middle value. I'm going to take the middle value using left and right pointer by adding the left index and right index and I'm going to divide that by 2 to get my middle value. So here my left pointer is 0 and my right pointer is 3. So these are my index. Then if I add them, I'm going to get 3 and if I divide by 2, basically I will use the floor operator so that I will be getting an integer. I'm going to get 1. So my middle value will be 1. The middle value is pointing to the index 1. Right? Then I need to check my middle value whether it is equal to my target. Here it is not equal to my target. 3 and 5 is not equal. Then I need to check whether my middle value 3 is greater than my target or it is lesser than my target right so in this case target is greater than the current middle value so i'm going to increase so this condition is true in this case so i'm going to move my left pointer after my middle value right since my target is greater than my middle value I'm moving my left to pointer after the middle value, right? Now, I will add the left and right pointer index, which is 2 plus 3, and I'm going to get 5, and I'm going to divide by 2. Here, my middle value will be 2. So, this is nothing but the middle index. So, both my left pointer and my middle pointer will be pointing to index 2. Now I need to check whether my middle value is equal to my target. Here the target is 5 and the middle value is also 5. Then I will return the pointer m which is nothing but 2 here. Now I will show you guys with another example if the target is not found in the input array. So in this example, I have a target 2, which is not found in my input array, basically. So now again, I'm going to add my L and R pointer. I'm going to get 3, which is nothing but 0 plus 3. I'm going to get 3. I'm going to divide by 2. I'm going to get the middle index value. So I'm going to get 1. So M will point to first index. This will be my middle value. Now I need to check whether my middle value is equal to my target. No, it's not equal to my target. Then I need to check two conditions, whether it is greater than my target or it is lesser than my target, whether the current value, right? Current middle value. So here in this case, three is greater than my target. It's greater than two, right? My target is two. Now I will move my right pointer before my middle index value. So now my R comes before my middle value. So basically L, R, M are my index values, right? So again, I will run the loop. So I will run the loop until my right pointer is less than my left pointer. So in this case, both are pointing to the same index that is zero. So I'm just going to run the loop again. Again, I'm going to add L plus R. So I'm going to get 
0 plus 0 and I will divide it by 2. So my middle index will be 0. So M will be pointing here. So all of my three pointers are pointing to index 0. Now I need to check whether my middle value that is 1 here. Middle value is 1 is greater than my target. No, it is not greater than my target. So I'm going to move my left pointer to the right of my middle index. So I'm going to increase my left pointer. So my left pointer will come here. So basically my left pointer will be pointing to one now, right? So in this condition, I'm not going to run the loop again since my left pointer index is greater than my right pointer index. So my right pointer index is pointing to zero. My left pointer is pointing to one. So I'm going to come out of the loop. Now I will return left pointer. So the basically the left pointer will be pointing to index where my two will come if I need to insert in the input array. So basically if I if I want to insert two in this input array, I will insert it in the index one. So I'm going to return one here, which is nothing but the left point. Now we will see the code. So before we code, and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and keep supporting guys. So initially I'm going to have the left pointer will be pointing to the zeroth index then the right will be pointing the last index of my input array. Right. Then I'm going to write the loop. So I'm going to run this loop until my right pointer is greater than my greater than or equal to my left pointer. So now I will calculate the middle value, middle index, right, by adding the left and the right pointer. I'm going to divide by 2. Then I'm going to check whether my middle value is equal to my target. If it is equal to my target, I'm just going to return the middle index. Else, if the middle value is less than my target, I'm going to move my left pointer to the right of my middle index. Else, I will move my right pointer before the middle index. So if I didn't find my target in the input array, then I'm going to return left pointer. So basically, left pointer will be pointing to the index where my target would be inserted if I need to insert, right? Now let's run the code. So the time complexities are log of n since we used binary search. Happy learning, keep supporting, cheers guys.